It's a staple in the land of enchantment. See that yellow mm -hmm. in the vein? Yeah. That's hot. Green chili season is finally here. But it wasn't an easy task this year. I'm hoping it looks worse than it is, at 10, 15 percent probably. Glenn Duggins is a chili farmer in Socorro. He says spring started late for him because the Middle Rio Grande Conservancy delayed water due to the drought. The first farms might have got it in 45, 40 days, but anyway, the delay was at least 60 days here. This caused him a delay in planting his crops, so he had to look elsewhere for a bit planted 300,000 transplants. We sent seed to Arizona. They grew them. We brought them back so that we could uh, move forward and be at the market on time. He says that cost a lot of money, but he made the window needed for chili season. If you don't hit that window, you're just not going to get into it. It's like selling pumpkins in June. But this year, there's been a snag, the monsoons which killed 10 to 15 percent of his crop. Chile is very sensitive to water. He says if you irrigate your field and then get hit with monsoon rain, you're in big trouble. They bring the arroyos in and so they the arroyos run a lot of mud. It's all we have to water with and that's what's happened and that even accelerates the disease. But he says there's one thing you can do to help our farmers. Make sure you're buying New Mexico certified chili. At the end of the day, with all of the farmers' problems that they're facing, if you don't support them, it's just going to vanish. Our pride and joy is just going to be gone. In Socorro, I'm Sasha Leninger. Back to you. Duggan says if farmers do not make the chili window, they're in a bad spot because stores will look to other farmers who did and sell their product instead.